and 10 out at the 34-yard line. And Hornerbrook to throw on first down. And able to complete out to Jazz Peavy. Second and one. This would be my favorite play call as an offensive coordinator. Lots you can do on second and one. And I guess that's one of the calls you could go with. That looks like something. Center on second and seven. Hand off to Clement. Straight up the middle. This time it's Miles Taylor. The Uts likes Dari Agumboale in this spot. He's in there right now. And they get it to Agumboale, and he does have the first down. Just <laughs> luck this year. We're the voice of the Badgers. This is the same play they ran in the Ohio State game. They did. He missed Agumboale for a big third down conversion. This time, Horny broke with an accurate throw. We Clement is split out, and now they hand it off to him, coming back around. Here's Corey Clement. He's Corey inside Clement of the 20-yard line now. He's the one who abused Ohio State in the first half. A week ago, on second and seven now. Clement trying to pick his hole. Desmond King came up to make the stop. You mentioned Clement. Send the man in motion, and hand it off to Clement. Good second effort there. Finally, Ben Neiman brought him down, but not Certainly would love Shield to dive forward to get that first down. Second and five pitch to Clement. Cuts it back inside. First down yardage and then some. Brandon Paul Chris, one of just a handful of power five head coaches, who also calls the offensive plays. Hornibrook throwing again. Eric Steffes, the tight end. Straight passing plays. Check Elias, see if that's the first time in history. Here's Clement on the pitch to the left side. He is rocked down. Starting position today, their own 42-yard line. Going to come out firing and completing to Jazz PV down the side. They split out to the right. Now they send him in motion. Don't even fake it to him. Give to Agumboale. Trying to push the pile to the 40-yard line. Back to Adnan. Down and four. They shift Ramish to the left and hand it off to Clement going in that direction. Just shy of the first down marker. Bring up a... Ramish the fullback to the right. Clement, ball carrier. Very close. Strong, stout. So they get the first down. Fresh set. Houston throwing to Clement out of the backfield. And he's out to the 27-yard line again as Neiman. He's all by himself. Second and one. Handoff, Clement. Administering some punishment himself. Just two. Clement's been the workhorse. Give it to him again. Not much doing there. No, and I think what you see from Iowa defensively and, and Phillips in the game. Second down and eight. Houston throwing. Got a man. It's Fumagalli. Did he get there? Touchdown, he did. Call a different play. After get further the review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Standing in his own end zone. On first down and 10, and Hornibrook trying to give some breathing room. He'll dive left for a yard or two. We'll agree as well. On second down and nine, give to Clement. Able to leap over a couple of people like Jaleel Johnson. Conson, under four to play here in the first half. Again, it was a 10 6 matchup a year ago. No one would be surprised this holds up as the final score. Austin Ramish doing his thing. The A late handoff to Clement, maybe a yard. Josie Jewell on the stop. That's allowed after the reception coming into this game. Handoff, here's Clement. Trying to back his way down by the goal line. Penniston maybe caught Iowa. Back inside the three. And that's who it goes to, Ramish. Good call, Grease. Maybe games a yard and some extracurriculars. Jewell at the bottom of the... Clement! Try to leap over, football comes out, it's recovered by Iowa, Desmond King, receiving across the goal line. For Wisconsin and Alex Hornibrook will start leading 7-6, we open up quarter number three, here's Corey Clement, the ball carrier. Stop there, tonight, 90th meeting all time, here's third and seven. Hornibrook throwing and completing, Dari Gunboale. When you've got three guys coming out and then a back fills in. Right back to Clement on first down. Really going according to the script, right, Clement? Line. Second and seven. Here's Clement. Yeah. 
Has him down at the six of Iowa looking to cash in. Here's Hornibrook handing off to Corey Clement. And he'll bang forward for a yard. Desmond King made the stop along with him. Two tight ends as well. Hand off. It's Clement. And he'll be stopped at about the two-yard line. Matt Nelson making the tackle. Third. That's are too deep. Three tight ends. Hand it to Clement. Gave it to him. Touchdown is the signal. Out of the 37. Jet sweep to Peavy. That was so effective a week ago. Haven't seen much of it today. Ten yard rusher. Hornibrook from under center. Hands it off to Clement, and he has it up for the first down. Back at 230 pounds right behind him. Second and five. Here's Clement. Not finding a lot of running room again. His average today is just... You're, you're putting the game at risk. That's number one. Off the play fake. And the throw. And the completion of Fumagalli with some running room. Brandon. Now he's four for four. Throwing the football. Brandon. Safe throws here. It's a good job. It's a good job knowing. That's why we call it naked, by the way. You asked earlier. See, there's nobody blocking the outside defensive end. It's a nice job recognizing that given ground and getting because of the way they throw the football. Handoff. Corey Clement. And listen, this decision between Houston and Horn across midfield. Handoff to Clement. Trying to pick a hole, and Bo Bauer made the tackle. It is Alex Hornibrook back in the game. And Hornibrook handing off to Corey Clement. Grant, second down and four. Handoff, it's Clement, Desmond King get another stop for him, and sometimes next. They're gonna hand it off to Clement. Breaks outside! And finally a big game for Corey Clement. It's been a whole lot of three-yard gains for Clement today. 32 times, his previous long was eight yards. He goes for 34 there. They give him a breather. And they give it to Agunbowale, bearing down that Iowa defense. On second and six, Bradrick Shaw checks in and carries the football. And he has the first down. Five yards, all of them on the ground, including that 34-yard run by Corey Clement. He's the ball carrier again, out to the 21. Second and five up coming. Give to Clement again. And another timeout. That should be Iowa's last with two. Wisconsin trying to put this game away. Clement stopped initially by Bo Bauer and just gets back to the original line of scrimmage.